Bullshit. Um, welcome to the Energy Station, Doctor Energy, bringing you insane, ripped off energy, baby. All right. Um, we're gonna talk about you know, like I said, that we're gonna be climbing the steps. That we're gonna get advanced, you know. We're gonna get we're getting into you know some supplements. Then you know, then hardcore. Sweet fire drugs. But right now, we're just going to do some, you know, the beginner nootropic. Get you started and get you ripped off that doink. Alright, this is the supplement we're doing is caffeine and L-theanine. This is the bomb S supplement. The mixture that is um still works for me today, even if you're just like and you like really taking like you know your himbe and you know other stuff like that and coke and crack and I'm joking, but yeah. So um we're gonna do theanine and caffeine right now. All right. So like um you know when you take like a god of caffeine, it gives you energy. You drink one of these, boom. Bam. I'm sure these um have um I'm looking have some a little bit of L-theanine in it too. A little bit, like a lot of um like hardcore um pre workouts have that. So, but when you're out on the um road and you just want need like some a quick fix, you got to get the um caffeine and L-theanine um package when you just uh, bloop take a cap or drink it whatever you know I usually make it in, in a supplement get Sprite um, if you're burning fat you don't use Sprite you use like seltzer so um yeah the combination of caffeine and L-theanine is considered by many to be the best place for a beginner to start with nootropics the reason caffeine and theanine are useful for beginners is because of the simplicity and amount of data supporting combination. Theanine is an amino acid found primarily in green tea, but also in other types. Um, caffeine is found in coffee, cocoa, and even in tea as well. Um, Combine these two ingredients do magical things. Um, yeah, so the combination of caffeine and L-theanine has been verified in many studies to improve attention and concentration while negating the side effects of caffeine. So this is what um, we're going to go over. Um, you know how um, people always complain about energy drinks? Well... My friends that know me, I was like, oh, Jeff, I don't like those. They make you too jittery. Blah. Well, this is going to stop all the jitters and, like, your blood pressure skyrocketing and, you know, whatever happens to you when you drink hardcore energy. Like, I like l because, like, when I'm going, like, from, I like to use it for the club because I'm going out partying, trying to kick game to girls. Like, yo, girl, what's good? Let me get that number. Um... I could um taste maltheanine will keep me calm when I take some energy so I can you know go out and have fun so it's almost like perfect it's like you know you know I don't even need a beer maybe one or two not even um yeah so this is this stuff is real fire I mean this is like the beginning before you know we get into real hardcore stuff so this stuff is um where it's at um like imagine you wake up in the morning and begin your routine you have a cup of coffee to jump start your day things are going well but suddenly you start feeling jittery and anxious <laughs> your heart is fluttering you feel euphoric but it's also a little hard to focus on the task at hand so that's why we have the anine and caffeine so like, like I said, wherever you go up, you're going to need um, something to level it out. So you're going up, 
you level it out, you know? So, that's where it's at. Like, you have, you have fear in your heart, you go on bike riding, BMX riding, um, skateboarding, rollerblading, whatever's deadly. Like, playing a hockey game, some MMA, some sparring, you know, you're doing boxing, whatever, you know. And you have fear in your heart or whatever, you use the L-theanine. You're going for a big deadly jump. You have a BMX competition. You can't be having fear in your heart when you blast some big tricks. Use the l theanine. You know? Like, but you also got to be careful, though, too. You can't, um, if you put too much, use too much l theanine, you'll, like, be asleep. You'll be like this, like, hello. Oh, what? You'll be like that. So, you don't want to do use too much l theanine. l theanine's popping for the club. Um, so, when I go out, like, bump it a bump, 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 bang, and bump it a bump, 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 bang, and bump it a bump, 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 bang, and they also like to, you know, use Fenibute too. Fenibute is, you know, is actually pretty good stuff. We'll get into that. It's like l theanine. You know, it gives you more of like a euphoric feeling. It's good for taking out for the club. Um, yeah, so to sum it up, yeah, caffeine and L-theanine is like good to get, you know, get you through your day. Um, you got to study, especially it's good for studying and reading books. Um, if you got to, you know, read something or if you got to listen to someone um, bullshit, maybe like... Um, if you go to like a seminar or something or like a talk and you want to, um, you know, be like, not like jittery, but you want to be up, you want to listen to it and pay attention to it. Um, this is, um, where it's at. Yeah. Like, um, so like when you, when you're getting started with, um, a caffeine and L-theanine supplement is a proper ratio you might you might want to maintain. Um, the numerous studies show that the L-theanine and caffeine ratio must be one to two. So caffeine L-theanine ratio is one to two. Well, it's like you know, get you know, everyone's different. You could toggle it, trick with it. Um, yeah. So um. Like, the best, like, dose, like, you know, some people, like, say, let's say there's 100 milligrams of caffeine in a cup of coffee. Um, you'll add, like, maybe, like, 160 milligrams or 100 milligrams of L-theanine. And that is, like, the L-theanine dosage um, would probably be, you know, that's, like, the normal dosage when you take it, like... 100 milligrams or 160. Um, like 200 um, milligrams of caffeine, same thing. Depending on what you want to do. Maybe you might need a little more, 200 milligrams of L-theanine. Um, you know, I, I mean, I take way more than like 100 milligrams of caffeine. Like if you take like 300 milligrams, maybe like 200 more, um, milligrams of L-theanine. Maybe 100, depending on how you... Um, your body reacts. If you're an energy fiend, you just and you're always tired, you always need to be out like woo uh, like you didn't sleep. Maybe like a hundred milligrams of theanine. Or like three hundred of caffeine. And then as you go up, you know, you could tackle it yourself. Like say like um you know, maybe if you want to go psycho and do like five hundred of caffeine. Then um you might want to do like 250 or 300 milligrams of theanine. Depending on what, who you are, how sensitive you are to energy, how much it hits you, you know. If the energy doesn't hit you that hard, or if you're not energetic, like, you know, if you're used to it, you might not want to use too much of theanine. Um, might, like, make you tired, a little bit sleepy, I don't know, maybe lazy. But, you know, you, you toggle, you got to try it out, like, don't watch this video and say, "All right, I got it. I'm gonna do it right now." If by and by some crazy, I mean we're not actually responsible, but if by some crazy reason you 
come across this video and you get up and you have a test or you have to go do some work um and you're if you just take regular coffee you don't drink energy drinks you drink coffee and you know maybe like you have like 180 to 100 milligrams of caffeine in your serving right let's say um but you need to get through you see this video and you want to get through Say like, um, do like 200 milligrams of caffeine. Maybe get like an energy drink. But some energy drinks have L-theanine, so make, make sure you look. And then do like 100, 160 milligrams of L-theanine. So let's say your energy drink has 200 milligrams of caffeine. Maybe like 100 um, milligrams of theanine. You know around there and I can't really be exact but if I was if I was to um if I had to um make some if I had to like do someone's first just watch the video and they they couldn't like test the product first or test their body out and guinea pig their own body I would say take um like 200 like 200 milligrams of caffeine with like me like a hundred of L-theanine. That should um be your um, starter dose. Or if you never did it before and you need something to get you through, that would be I guess the most um like dose that I could that I could give you that like will get that will work for you. Like guessing if you're guessing off the top of your head, but I mean you shouldn't do that with subs. Um, you should always test the product. So, like, say if I'm going into, like, a, um, a BMX competition or something. Um, and it's a really had to win or something. Or I really had to, or if I'm going to, like, a, um, a speech or a massage contest or whatever. And I have to massage a lot of people. And I have to, um, I would, um, take the supplement like, like maybe like if I have a, if it's a month or two in advance or a month in advance, like I would take the supplement the couple days during um that before I actually and feel it out. So once I feel that out, I could be like, okay, this is the dosage and this is what I got to do on that day of the BMX competition or massage um day competition. Um, then that is the way to do it and you'll know exactly your dose and you will be good. So welcome to your energy source and I'm signing out.